everyone, my name is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. <laughs> I'm showing you how I'm in the car today. I'm going to my mother's house. Let's read. We're going to read. Mm. Dreams come true. Joseph's race to power. Let's read. Joseph served Potiphar well, but Potiphar's wife was, wanted Joseph to sin against God. Joseph refused, so she lied about him. Potiphar believed her, and Joseph was thrown into prison. So Joseph was Potiphar's. One day, his wife wanted him to sin uh, against God, but Joseph didn't listen to her, so like, she was angry with her, and he was like, Joseph didn't do anything wrong. Let's find the Bible then, peace. Prison, you just met. Oh, sorry, Joseph met two of Potiphar's servants. They each had a dream, and God showed Joseph their meaning. Joseph's explanation came true. The cupbearer was released, and the baker, ah, sorry, baker was had. So Joseph met two prisoners. It was Baker and Copper, and they had a strange dream. So Joseph told them meaning, and it came true. Oh, sorry. God helped. Oh, God helped Joseph. Two years later, Paros had the two traveling dreams. The copper remembered what Joseph has done for him and told Paros. So Paros then for Joseph and told him his dreams. So like Joseph said, don't forget this like and copper oh. and like copper forgotten for a long time and a long time passed when Paro had a troubling dream he the cop bear remembered Joseph <laughs> we have found the bible that sweet smelling on the altar God showed Joseph the meaning uh, of Paro's dreams. For seven years, a lot of food will grow. And Joseph uh, said Joseph so store up food because seven years will famine will oh, seven years of famine will follow. So God showed Joseph the meaning of the dream. God helped them. Joseph said seven good things will come and they have to store many food because there will be seven years. The famine will follow. Question God helped Joseph understand the meaning of the dream. True. impressed by Joseph's wisdom. So he put Joseph in charge of storing all, all the food. Apart from Paro, no one was 
no one in Egypt was more powerful than Joseph. So, Joseph, he was proud, but Joseph was the man. Paro had Joseph in charge of all the food in Egypt. Joseph's brother went to Egypt to buy food. They bowed before Joseph, but did not recognize them. When he saw that they had changed, he told them who he was. So Joseph's brother went to Egypt to buy food. And Joseph knew that was his brother. And Joseph said, sorry, this is my father. So Joseph saw that they were like different. They were changed. They loved men and men. That Paro put Joseph in charge as number one. I guess soldiers number two, Kamalans number three, the food. Number three was the correct answer, not the Kamalans. <laughs> the brothers were terrified. You need to harm me, Joseph said, but God used that for good, bringing all our, bring all of our family in Egypt. We will have plenty to eat. So the brother were terrified when they saw Joseph like and maybe they will think that uh, about Joseph's strength that seven stars are bowing down to them and they're so what does it weak? A bundle was bowing down to Joseph. So what like, they were terrified because like Joseph and Joseph was in a very high position so the Joseph could also kill them. But Joseph forgave his brothers. And Joseph said to bring our old families to Question Joseph's brother meant to harm, mean to harm him, but God brought good out of it. Yes, today our the Bible story. Today's the Bible title was Dreams Come True. And God will be with us every time. And let's see you next time. Bye.